hello sagittarius how are you welcome to my channel star 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 so sag this is your reading for the month of january 2021 uh this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't and energies might be vice versa right so sag what is going on with you sagittarius what is going on with you also sagittarius uh if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading i would appreciate if you would hit like share and subscribe and if you would comment down below okay so sagittarius what is going on with you last shuffle <coughs> First is Ten of Wands, the Star, the Empress, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, Eight of Wands. Whoa. Okay. The Hermit, the Page of Pentacles, the Tower, <coughs> Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Sagittarius, you may be dealing with uh, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer in particular okay if the sign pops up all the better okay so sagittarius with that 10 of uh, with that 10 of wands i feel that <clears throat> you have dropped the burden of this relationship okay enough is enough for you that's that's what i'm feeling you have reached a stage like where it was enough is enough okay i cannot carry the burden of this relationship i cannot carry whatever is going on in this relationship i cannot carry the expectations of this person i am done i could give whatever i can give i've given the best i cannot give anything beyond that okay you reached the stage and this person literally pushed you to an edge okay this person whosoever you were dealing with they literally pushed you to an edge <clears throat> and uh, it fo it kind of forced you to withdraw yourself from this relationship right withdraw yourself and uh, you have commenced a journey where you are in search of yourself okay a journey where you want to connect with yourself a journey where uh, you want to feel that purity inside you all over again the kind of purity you had when you were that innocent child okay you want to feel that purity all over again okay you felt that you were also forced to do a couple of things uh intentionally unintentionally when you were in this relationship which you felt that were not right i don't know it may be anything okay probably you may have got you may have learned about you may have learned to drink okay or initially you were not drinking you may have started smoking and you're feeling like probably it is it's just an example i'm just giving you just an example drinking or smoking or anything okay and you're feeling like this is not what i am probably i started this because i got into a relationship because i met people like your past partner <coughs> And that's why I got diverted towards such kind of things, which I never wanted to do in my relationship, and you, uh, uh, which I never wanted to do in my life, right? And you are thinking that I want to purify myself all over again. I want to, con I want to connect with myself. Okay, I, f you are feeling like you have lost somewhere in the process. Okay, and you are starting that journey of soul searching. Okay, you have started that journey of soul searching and because you started that journey of soul searching, you are on the way of your abundance. <coughs> Sorry for that. You are attracting a lot of abundance. 
yeah if you're searching a job i get i believe that uh, you know good job offers are coming your way there are some good opportunities which are coming your way and that is like kind of guaranteeing you if not immediate but a lot of uh, future abundance materialistic abundance in future that's what i see so you have completely withdrawn your interest you have completely withdrawn your energy from this person and they are not liking it <laughs> they are not liking it they were like probably quite used to your attention they were like quite used to you pampering them you nurturing them you showering your love on them and now you have withdrawn that attention they are feeling like you are investing that love that nurturing attitude your attention in someone else that's what they are feeling and they are like literally rushing towards you look at these cards in the present okay we have knight of cups we have chariot and we have eight of wands okay all signifies some all the cards all of them they signify fast moments right eight of wands some fast communication coming your way okay back and forth communication a uh, chariot some fast moments are happening knight of wands knight of cups a fast offer that is coming your way a fast romantic offer okay this person is not able to digest that you have withdrawn your attention okay they are so used to your attention they had taken you for they had taken you granted so much and they are like no i want your attention back only i should get your attention no one else deserves that attention and what i see is with that nine of swords this person is definitely quite tensed okay they are aware of the way they have treated you they are aware that they have pushed you towards uh, this phase they have pushed you to withdraw them uh, to withdraw yourself from this uh, relationship okay their behavior was something which no one would have accepted but you were the one who who kept on accepting who kept on giving them chances and you also kept on loving them but then there came a point where you could not you where you could not handle it and that's why you decided to separate yourself from this person and now they are going crazy over you now they are feeling your absence so much this person was in fact so highly dependent on you and your energy they were so highly dependent on uh, the kind of love you were giving them and they have never experienced such kind of love from anyone else okay <clears throat> and that's why they are so freaking desperate what i see in this entire scenario is they had taken you for granted too much they took you for granted too much and you also gave them many chances so they were very confident that whatever however they behave they will get another chance yet again but this time it didn't happen what the way they were thinking right and that's why they are so freaking desperate they are like no i have won my sag back my sag should give attention to me only okay my sag cannot give attention to anyone else and they are having so freaking sleepless nights over that but like i told you <clears throat> this you are on your own journey right you have commenced your journey i i believe that sage with you people it's like you know when i'm there i'm there okay but when i'm when i withdraw when i'm gone i am like i'm really gone okay and you have absolutely withdrawn yourself and you are totally investing that energy in yourself okay you are on the path of soul searching you are trying to search what you have lost you want to fulfill what you have lost you want to fill up that void that has been created in your life okay and there is a lot of uh, contemplation that is going on there is a lot of uh, uh, you know self introspection that is going on i also believe that you may be approaching some tarot card readers you may be approaching some healers some psychics okay so i believe that they are dreaming that they are having sleepless nights right they are not able to 
handle the fact that you are gone so they want to come back and make an offer a slow and steady offer but they fear that you will say no and if you say no oh my god <laughs> they won't be able to handle it baby they won't be able to handle it they will go through a really really bad phase they'll go through a phase which will kind of destroy them like you know look i'm not telling you to go back to them okay uh what i'm trying to tell you is that their current self will get destroyed completely and they will go through a phase of transformation okay but uh, to transform themselves it's going to take a very long time and probably only you can do that only you can do that so they 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 fear that if they make an offer they don't know that you know, they don't know what kind of reaction they will get but there is a lot of fear that if they come and make an offer you will say no and they are really having bad dreams about this <clears throat> so what is the advice sagittarius you people have from the spirits what is the advice you people have from the spirits sagittarius what is the advice you people have from the spirits ooh <clears throat> attachment yeah so what i'm hearing is there is an unhealthy attachment and you are dropping that you are on the verge of dropping that you are you are uh, advice i'm getting over here is drop the unhealthy attachments okay and you are doing that whatever is unhealthy you are dropping that burden you are freeing yourself you are freeing yourself from any unhealthy attachment and something better someone better is waiting for you a man holding a heart someone who will never take you for granted okay someone who will never push you to an edge someone who will value who you are okay and someone who will always love you for who you are okay so that kind of a person is waiting for you all right such theories i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye